Hello, and welcome to Studio From Home with the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. My name's Renee, and I'm an art education assistant at the gallery. Today, I'm gonna to show you a fun and simple activity that you can do from home. The activity that we'll be doing today is creating and decorating our own miniature house sculptures out of objects that are commonly found at home. This activity is inspired by the house of artist Maud Lewis, which now resides at the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. Maud Lewis lived in the house in Marshalltown, Digby County with her husband Everett for over 30 years. While living in poverty and dealing with health issues throughout her life, she found joy through art making and painting. She made the most of difficult circumstances by noticing the beauty in her surroundings. What I love so much about the house is its bright colors and the playful imagery such as flowers, birds, and butterflies that are found on its walls. This artwork is also pretty unique since you don't often see people painting designs and motifs directly on the walls and furniture of their homes. To do this activity at home, you'll need materials that you probably already have, such as printer paper, cardboard, drawing tools like pencils or permanent marker, scissors, or you could also use a utility knife, glue. Um, so for glue, you can either use hot glue or you could use white glue. And if you don't have either of these, you could also use masking tape or painter's tape. And then we'll need materials to decorate our house. So that could be anything from acrylic paint, um, some coloring pencils, um, here I have some popsicle sticks. Um, and then you could also even use fabric. So for fabric, you could use this for curtains in the house. Um, and you could even use old clothing that you don't wear anymore, like an old t-shirt. Um, here I just have some, some pattern fabrics that are pretty fun, but you could use anything. And I also have some plastic wrap. Um, so this plastic wrap, I was thinking we could use as our glass for the windows. If you also have decorative materials like sequins or stickers, um, some crayons, uh, pipe cleaners, really anything can be used to uh, decorate your house. You could even use toys or small objects. So let's begin. To start, we're gonna make our template with our printer paper. So I got my regular 8.5 by 11 inch piece of printer paper and I'm going to fold it in half. Okay, so I'm going to fold it in half just like this and then I'm going to take the two top corners and I'm going to fold them so that they meet in the center and then you're going to get sort of like a house shape. Unfold the paper and cut down the center folded line. With your first half, cut out the house shape along the folded line and discard the remaining two triangular corner pieces. With the second half, fold the top corners inward. Fold over the top triangular part of the house toward the base of the house to create a square shape. Cut along the roof line to create a square piece and then discard the smaller rectangle. You should get one square piece and one house shape piece. Trace your templates onto cardboard and cut out the pieces. Cutting cardboard can be pretty tricky, so this step should be done by an adult to ensure safety. In total, trace and cut out two house pieces for the sides of your house and four square pieces. The four square pieces will make up your floor, the front of your house, and the front and back of the roof. Next, draw and cut out any windows and doors you might want on the walls of your house. It's finally time to add your own personal flair and decorate the interior and exterior of your house. I would suggest painting or drawing on both sides of the wall and roof pieces of your house before assembling it all together, since it might be tricky to paint or draw on the inside of your house once it's all glued together. Consider making your own patterned wallpaper by drawing on the paper template you made earlier and gluing it on the cardboard pieces. Assemble the floor, walls, and roof with glue. Hot glue works best to assemble the pieces together. However, hot glue should only be used by an adult since it can get very hot and potentially burn if it comes in contact with your skin. 
If you're using white glue, it will take longer to dry and the walls might have more difficulty standing upright at first. To help with this, prop an object at the base of the wall to keep it upright while the glue dries. If you're using masking tape, the tape will be visible, so you might want to consider painting over it or covering it with a colored piece of paper afterwards. Add any final details to the exterior or interior of your house. This is your chance to get really creative and imaginative. Consider assembling miniature furniture pieces out of cardboard, making curtains out of fabric, window panes out of plastic wrap or tissue paper, door handles with buttons, or even making people out of plasticine to inhabit your house. The possibilities are endless. Now we're all done decorating our house. We would love to see what you create, so tag us on social media so that others can also see what you create. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more art lessons with the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia.